power up the WNR1004 pocket router via the 5 volt power adapter. You can also power up the WNR1004 via the USB power cable. The default SSID of WNR1004 will follow the last five characters of the device MAC address. The MAC address can be found at the label pasted on the bottom of the unit. Toggle the switch behind WNR1004 to AP mode. Power up the WNR1004 first. Connect the LAN cable to the hotel LAN point. Connect the other end of the LAN cable to the WNR1004 LAN port. That's it. You had just created a wireless hotspot in your hotel room with the WNR1004. You can surf and check your emails on multiple wireless devices in the comfort of your hotel room. Even if the hotel internet requires a login and only allows single user access, you can set the WNR1004 to router mode to share the hotel internet access on multiple wireless devices. Toggle the switch to router mode. Plug in the LAN cable from the WNR1004 to your modem. PC, search for the SSID of WNR1004 and click Connect. Open your web browser, and the Easy Setup Wizard will be prompted. Click Start and Go. And it will automatically diagnose the type of internet connectivity being connected. Once detected, click Next to continue. For ADSL connection, PPPoE will be detected, and you will be prompted to key in your ISP username and password. Click Next. If you do not wish to change the router log, enter your preferred wireless password. Then click Next. The easy setup is now completed. Please wait for the router to reboot. After reboot, Scan the SSID of WNR1004 and type in the wireless password. Refresh the web browser, and the connection status will be shown, if the connection is successful. Click Advanced Setup to access the Advanced Configuration page of the router. Enter admin and password for username and password respectively. This is the advanced configuration page of WNR1004. Toggle the switch to client mode. Plug in the LAN cable from the WNR1004 to the PC LAN port. On UPC, go to the LAN network properties. Select TCP, IPv4, and enter a static IP address. Open the web browser, and enter 192.168.123.254 on the address bar, 
To access the configuration page, run the setup wizard, and click Site Survey to scan for your existing wireless route. And once the SSID is found, select it and click Next. And enter the wireless password when prompted, then click Finish to reboot. Once reboot, go to the status and you will see connected, if the connection is successful. Now, go back to your LAN properties, and to remove the static IP address. That's it. Your WNR1004 is now in client mode successfully connected to your wireless router. You can browse the internet on your TV screen without any cable hassle. Toggle the switch behind WNR1004 to AP mode. Plug in the LAN cable from the WNR1004 to the PC LAN port. On your PC, go to the LAN network properties, select TCP, IPv4, and enter a static IP address for WNR1004. And open the web browser and enter 192.168.123.254 on the address bar. Go to wireless, then basic, and tick enable universal repeater mode. Enter the SSID name of your existing wireless router. Then, select the wireless channel number, to be the same, as your existing wireless router. Apply changes and reboot later. Go to Security, and select your existing router SSID, and Encryption Mode, and enter the wireless password. Apply changes and reboot now. Once reboot, go to Status and you will see Connected. If the connection is successful, go to Network, LAN Interface Setup. Change the IP address to be in the same subnet as your existing wireless router. For example, if your existing wireless router IP address is 192.168.0.254, then you can change to the same subnet with the last value difference of 254 and apply changes, and the router will reboot. After reboot, unplug the LAN cable. On your PC, scan the wireless network and connect it to the SSID of your WNR1004. Then open the web browser, and enter the new IP address set earlier in the address bar. To access the configuration page, go to Status. You can check that the WNR1004 is now linked to your existing wireless router with the status showing connected. And that's it. The WNR1004 Universal Repeater is set up successfully. Now you can place your WNR1004 to your preferred location to extend the wireless coverage.